Hello, 10th graders. Hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will talk about the repetition of adjectives, adverbs, verbs, or nouns. Like what? Like when I say the weather is getting colder and colder. I repeated the adjective colder twice. When I say I ran and ran, I repeated the verb run. When I say there are students and students, I repeated the word student. So why do we do a repetition sometimes? And how do we do that? What are the rules here? Uh, let's figure this out. Uh, before we start, you should remember that they, they, there are two types of adjectives, right? Long adjective, adjectives and short adjectives. Short adjectives, it's enough to add ER to make a comparison here. Long becomes longer, happy, happier, short, shorter, whatever. But for long adjectives, that adjectives, uh, you can't add ER to it to, to compare. You say beautiful, more beautiful, you add more more expensive this house is expensive but that one is more expensive uh there are uh, verbs that have to change completely like bad becomes worse this year is bad but last year was worse good becomes better so uh why do we repeat adjectives sometimes like, why did I say the weather is getting colder and colder? That's because we sometimes want to emphasize a gradual or continuous change. Okay? In these examples, my uncle grew fatter and fatter over the years. The balloon got bigger and bigger as in burst. The weather is getting colder and colder, like it was called. That then it became uh, to get, it became to get colder and colder. The te that's gradual, you know. Uh, the teacher's exams are getting harder and harder. It's becoming harder uh, every time. The voice is becoming louder and louder. Her performance is getting greater and greater. So as you can tell here, we repeated the adjective fatter fatter bigger bigger twice and we separate with and uh, for long adjectives or adverbs we don't repeat the adjective or the adverb no we repeat the word more houses are getting more and more expensive she began to dress more and more elegantly the student is getting more and more nervous she is smart and she began to speak French more and more fluently. With her channel on YouTube, she is getting more and more famous. Now uh, we have an exercise uh, on workbook, page uh, 64. Uh, we don't go to many concerts because tickets are getting what? What do you think? It's a long adjective, so we have to add more and in this case we say more and more expensive and the second sentence we have an adverb fluently because he practices every day ben is speaking spanish more and more fluently this is where i repeat when i have a long adjective or an adverb your exams won't get easier. In fact, they will become beca become harder and harder. This is a short adjective. Sometimes we repeat verbs. Uh, why do we repeat verbs? I repeat verbs sometimes to show you that uh, this action continues for a long time, like the sentence "We ran and ran until we fall, until we fell." Like, we continued to running for a long time. We ran and ran. The audience cheered and cheered for ages. That was very long. He worked and worked until he finished the project. She continued dancing and dancing all night long. Here, uh, we have an... Uh, ex uh, in workbook, page 64, exercise number 2. So how can we write these sentences uh, with a repetition of uh, the verbs? They continue to... 
So they continued to run until they were out of breath. Uh, how can I uh, rewrite this with the repetition of the verb to show that this action continued for a long time? I would say they continued to run or they ran and ran until they were out of breath. She went on. She went on means it took a long time with her on knocking. So I say she knocked and knocked until someone opened the door. And now sometimes I repeat nouns. Uh, why do I repeat nouns? Like when you say there are prizes and prizes. Why did I repeat the word prizes here? I repeated it because I want to show you that there is a difference between the first prizes and the other prizes. That there are good prizes, but there are better prizes. You know, there are good friends and good friends, and there are there is a difference between both. And now uh, we have an exercise here, workbook. Some rock bands are better than others. So we have two things and we have some difference between them. How can I say that? I can repeat the noun here. So I can say, number one, there are rock bands and rock bands. So simple, right? There are good teachers and there are amazingly good teachers. I can simply say that there are teachers and teachers. In this way, I, uh, I, I include that there is a difference between two, these two types of teachers.